Gule. My name is Luis Garcia. Born and raised out of Dallas, Texas. Moved to Chicago. Came out to California through service. And now I'm out here. So I came into Pachuco lifestyle through salsa, uh, through one of my teachers, Francisco Vasquez. Uh, he ended up showing how to mix El Barrio with elegance, uh, with suits, and still being able to go out there, and I really liked it. And then once you dig into the history, pues it was the cultura. Today, pues, el legendario Edward Olmos coming in, so I had to representar, and I got a photo with him later, so I got to look right, man. Uh, you know, I had to bring the Zoot Suit culture, obviously he was known for that one, and pues, aquí estoy bien zooted. Los Angeles, well, I came out here, like I said, uh, I had family, so I would work constructions in the summertime uh, to come out here and work with me feels. And then that's how I would pay for school, and then we ended up going, and then I ended up joining the Marine Corps, so Marine Corps brought me out to Camp Pendleton. And uh, since then, I've just been back and forth. But oh, yeah, every time I come here, it's always changed me. Esta vez, I found Pachuco lifestyle. Y pues, me voy a in the Marine Corps, we always had bases in East LA that were outlawed. So whenever, you know, back then, you don't know nothing. You're just young. It's always saying, okay, fine, that's cool, whatever. And you just hear, oh, it's because it's a radio. But, you know, coming out, you hear about why it is. And, you know, unfortunately, we have to go ahead and uncover those books on our own because it's not taught in our local schools. I never learned about it antes. Uh, but uncovering that, you find these things out, and I mean, yeah, the things that we do now, even around the world, in Afghanistan, what I was a part of, it's it's not the most um, proud thing to speak of, you know, in certain aspects, but um, in others, I mean, especially with that history, uh, pues duele, duele, um, you know, because it was servicemen that were beating on our people, but we still had people that were serving. My dad served, I served, I come from a family of people that served. And, you know, it sucks because we were still, we still put skin in the game, but I want to see, you can see that it's a race problem. It's not a fact that we're not in there, we're not doing our part or our service to the country. Aquí estamos, I got shot twice, I got fucking blown up a few times. Um, I got, I had metal in my leg for a while, and then once I got taken out, that's how I found salsa, you know? Um, and then now that's how I found out this history, and thankfully, I mean, things happen for a reason, but I'm glad that, you know, I'm finding it now, and that at least I'm able to come out here and represent that, you know? Um, especially as one that served because, man, it's like, you know, we were there, bro. Like, if, if you know, I'll be right there front lines otra vez. Like, no, these motherfuckers ain't gonna do it again, <laughs> you know? And I feel that now, even though the Zutsu riots happened 80 years ago, um, the same sort of bigotry, the same sort of racism is still alive today. And I feel that we need to know about it and we need to go ahead and raise our voice about it porque si no va a pasar otra vez, as it's happening now on the border with everything going on now with everything with the deportation of veterans. Todo está bien, bien mal against our people, and you can see that it's just against Brown. There's a reason why they only want the southern wall to be built and not the northern wall. Um, you know, so it's it gets deep, man, and, you know, we need to go ahead and raise the alarm porque otra vez está pasando. I started off with Stacy Adams, starting from the bottom up. I got Stacy Adams, original, the Gators. Um, and then I had to go ahead, next thing, also the socks, silk socks, had to accompany that. Uh, the tailoring I got done um, on a personal one that was fashion tailor out in Vista. Uh, the suit was a personal gift at a suit store I used to work at. Um, and then, let's see, the ties I got from I'm Chula. Follow her on Instagram. Uh, she's really great, really amazing. The double chain I got from El Pachuco Zoot Suits, of course, and the feather. Obviously, that's from them, the final touches. Uh, the belts, the chains, the jewelry and stuff. None other than the LA Fashion District right there. Had to go downtown, support mi gente. Um, and yeah, that's where the bandana touches come in, the barrio. You know, you find those at your local liquor store. <laughs> it's the, let's see, the hat. The hat, man, the hat also, LA Fashion District. Uh, the touches, again, the bandana around the hat. That's I'm Chula, follow her for all the little bandana touches. The fat tie bandana print. Uh, the bandana around the waist, and then, let's see, yeah, the feather again in Pachuco Zutsu, and that's top to bottom. Man, it's crazy, honestly, it's, um, you know, I, I'm actually proud of it because it's like, dang, for what, you know, just because we're out here looking good, looking like a diamond, como quien dice, and, you know, just showing out and protesting in a peaceful manner, but still going ahead and speaking loudly, and I feel that, um, you know, it was really something that was racist. It was really something that was out there. And I'm, I'm honestly proud to be able to say that I'm brown and proud wearing it. Follow me on Instagram at Luis G. The Legend.